Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and today's episode is going to be how to disguise your stance switching. You don't want to make it so visual where your opponent can see that you're up to something, you're creating a different angle. So I'm going to show you four different ways you're going to change where your opponent can't see. As you get more experience, you want to be able to switch stances mid combinations or to be able to trick your opponent to be able to get some different offense. So I'm going to show you four different ways that you can switch stances seamlessly so your opponent doesn't see it. That's the whole point. You want to trick them into seeing, not seeing what's coming. So you see guys like Vasyl Lomachenko, Triple G, all of a sudden you think they're in their one stance, but they're created an angle in their opposite stance and that's why they catch you and knock you out from those different angles. So, the first one I like to do is my basic triangle step, and you hear me use that a lot, is that I'll stay, I'll come in in combination off of my right side. As I pull out, I come back into my neutral, and I circle. I could step back in as an orthodox. Eventually, from this neutral stance, I'll step in as a southpaw to change my angles and attack. So you can see I'm constantly entering and exiting with different stances. This way they never know what's happening. Okay, last one. Boom. Okay, the, the second one you can use is a little bit more effective if they're moving backwards and that's the shift. So as they're moving, I switch my feet, boom, and I could attack. It's a good way to close distance and it's a good way to create an angle. If he stops here, for example, here, I can stop, create my angle and attack, right? He doesn't know which stance I'm in because if you see I'm throwing my hands in his face and this is how it blinds him and doesn't watch my feet he's too worried about being blinded by the hands the third one we're gonna do because I really like low kicks is set it up off of a low kick so I'll attack the leg once I can touch attack the leg now he thinks the low kicks coming I switch off from here I got a good left knee or I can power off my left Attacks in my power. Say one more time. Boom, attack the leg, come off, and I could attack back here. Okay? The last one you can do is a back step attack, especially against now someone who's pressuring you a little bit more. As soon as he comes in, I back step, take my angle, and I could attack into my southpaw. Being able to switch stances in your fight is more of an advanced strategy, but it's one that is really effective. You don't have to be the best at the opposite stance. Right? You have to be able to at least throw your power positions. So in my southpaw, I'll really focus on at least landing a good left straight, good left kick, good left knee. You're just there for a moment to create as much power as you can to change an angle to get some different offense. And then right away, you come back. The issue with opposite side stance, you don't want to stay there too long, especially if you haven't trained it for many years, your defense becomes compromised. So all of a sudden, you quickly switch, throw your attack, come back to your orthodox position. This way, you can block more effectively. Okay, so if you keep liking the videos, keep subscribing, and keep sharing with all your friends, this is how we grow bazooka kickboxing.